The first full week of August in our neck of the woods means one thing. The Macon County Fair is back and hopefully for fair goers better than ever before. Good evening and welcome to the 33rd annual Macon County Fair opening ceremony. For the 33rd year in a row, the Macon County Fair returns to Lafayette. It's always a fun time for everyone who goes. It's also a lot of hard work for the fair board to plan all the events and activities. We go all out, do our best. We talk to the people in the community and try to, you know, get uh, some input on what, uh, what what we can do to make the fair better, you know, and and uh, try to get, you know, get everything together for the people and uh, for the children. I mean, that's what it's all about. For Lafayette's Melinda Newberry, the fair provides her a chance to show quilts that she makes. How many years would you say you've been entering quilts in the Macon County Fair? I've only been about four years. Okay. And why did you decide that you wanted to start entering quilts in the fair? Well, I had started because I was knitting and crocheting and doing different stuff with my friends, and they're quilting, and I'm thinking, well, hey, I can do that. So I said, okay, I'll try one. We'll see what we can do. Here I am. Got bit by the bug. <laughs> and how did the quilt do this year? I got a first place ribbon. I'm so excited. Now, is this the first time you've gotten a first place on your quilts? No, I got a first place last year also. So So is the pressure on now to have a first place ribbon every year from here on out? Well, not necessarily to have the first place. I like to get the ribbon, but it's just cons consistently doing something better and better and better every time. Talk about this year's quilt and, and, and how you came up with this design. The one, my mother, these are all her old clothes from work. And so I wanted to, she was going to get rid of them, and I said, no, we can recycle that, let me use it, and give her homage to something she'd done for like 20 plus years of service. So I cut it up and made her a quilt and gave it to her. And what did she think when she saw it? She cried like a baby. <laughs> she loved it. And I bet that made you happy too. Oh yeah, it was a very tearful moment. <laughs> what do you like about quilting? What's fun about it for you? Well, I mean, the work is hard. The stitching and you're getting you're trying to be perfected in your your task or whatever but it's a lot of times it's sitting with somebody else mm -hmm. doing it with them you get fellowship you know you get somebody with something like-minded that you're doing mm -hmm. it's just the whole package deal and then you when you get done you've took something that you've created and put out there mm -hmm. that's going to be around for a while in addition to quilts, the women's building also showcases canned food items and local artists display how talented they are with paintings of all kinds. She enjoys playing basketball, swimming, gymnastics, showing sheep, and playing with family and friends. Beauty pageants also dominate Fair Week. Sherry Massey is a pageant mom. Her daughter Mary competed in the Fair Sweetheart pageant. She's number 17 tonight, and I'm a nervous wreck. I'm more so nervous than she is. <laughs> Talk about just being a parent, a pageant mom, actually, and, and what you guys have to go through out there in the, in the crowd as you're watching your little girls come out on the stage. Oh, Mary, I, I just pray she don't fall off the stage, and I'm just so proud when she walks out, and she has really built confidence being in the pageants, and that's really helped Mary, and she has, uh, of course, our family, we all support her in whatever she does, but she is so excited about this pageant, and I'm proud of her that she wants to participate. On this night, Sherry was wearing a big smile at the end of her daughter's pageant. In 2015, Macon County Fair Sweetheart is contestant number 17, Mary Massey. Mary won the Sweetheart pageant, where many beautiful young ladies participated. The Macon County Fair always tries to showcase the talents of the children who live in the area. These kids showed their sheep to an impressed judge. Other children rev up their engines as they participate in the ATV rodeo. The fair also brings in vendors from all across the country. You guys ready to win a prize? Marion, Indiana's Mark Augusta says he stays on the road a lot each year with his job. It's pretty fun, you know, you get to meet a lot of people and every day it's you meet a lot of faces. How often do you stay on the road each year? Nine months a year. I go home in November till February and then I come back out and 
I'll go, I'll send my kids out every once in a while to see me. It's just been a while right now, you know. It's been really rough. We've been in a lot of muddy areas and flooding and all year, so. Do you stay mostly in the southeast, or do you just go all over the country? North to south, east, west. How long does it take you to set up what you're doing here at the fair? About five hours setting up, about three hours of tear down. And then after here, we go to Greenville, Tennessee. You just con in the south. constantly stay on the road. Yeah. Is it fun? Do you enjoy it? I, I like it a lot. You know, every time I went back home and I did landscaping and construction work, it's like, ah, uh, I'm ready to go back out. <laughs> <laughs> the theme for this year's Macon County Fair, Ready, Set, Grow. The fair has been growing for the last 33 years, and fair officials hope that will be the case in the near future. Reporting from Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.